You have a mission. It is not just creating a beautiful community. What we need to do is help people, and I do believe very, very seriously that we're headed for a Great Depression. At that time, people who now don't seem to be at all interested will be very interested. I think we'll have a mission then, not necessarily to make other Ananda communities. I like this idea of being autonomous, so that we don't have to have some central board of directors telling everybody what to do. I'm pretty sick of that consciousness. But to have communities where people love God and serve God, I think there are going to be a lot of different kinds of communities that won't be necessarily even masters. Even so, master, you might say, is sort of the patron saint of communities because it was his power behind it. I am sowing my life thoughts in the ether, and thy, my words shall not die. I was with him when he spoke like that. It was so stirring. I vowed in my soul that I would do what I could to bring this ideal of his uh, to fruition. And thank God you all are a part of that fruition. But it's only the beginning. And many people will be drawn, they won't necessarily be drawn to us, but we'll be able to inspire them to do their thing, but to do it even in a, a simple way of living closer to people, having meaningful friendships, having people who uh, may, they may be Presbyterians or Catholics, it doesn't matter. Truth is truth, you, don't have, you can't give a name to it. But if we can help them to seek themselves, on a deeper and deeper level. I think that communities can be a great thing and it's very important that it not degenerate into just a sociological experiment. It has to have an ideal, otherwise it'll be there for a while and then sort of fall apart. But this ideal, I think, is going to change this country. I think a hundred years from now people will look back and say this is the most important thing that was going on. Important because it was, was what gave Americans a sense of direction and purpose. You have a mission. Don't think that your mission is to build yourselves a nice little home and have a nice little family. We've been through that, and I think most of us understand this now. That yes, we want to do this, but for God, not for us. Those people who have been happiest at Ananda are those who don't think of themselves, but think, what can I give? How can I serve? How can I help other people? Those who think first, well, what about me? How can I find my security? What's in it for me? They never, they never find what they're looking for. But I see shining faces here, and I know that that shine doesn't come from thinking that way. Therefore, I have to say, coming back from Italy and seeing this solidification of a generous and devoted and self-giving attitude is to me the greatest thing. Jan Shapiro asked me yesterday, what can we do for you? I said, the thing you can do for me more than anything else is let me see you shining with God's love. That's what it's all about. Nothing else matters. But to love God, when I see you happy in God, that's the only fulfillment that means anything to me, the thought that I'm this creator of the most successful community and writ writer of all these books and so on. I think that's trash <laughs> compared to what we're really trying to do. Instill in people's minds a sense of direction toward God, a sense of love for God, a sense of love for God in one another. And the more I see that, the more I feel really happy. That's the greatest gift you can give me. I would go so far as to say it's the only valuable gift you can give me. So thank you for your spirit and thank you for everything. God bless you.